SBUFalcons.com here with women's soccer coach Chuck Sekra. Coach, uh, you start up your spring practice uh, session. How, how are things going so far? Going really well. Great energy. Kids are fit, strong, um, doing well. We've taken a couple injuries. It's always a bummer, but that happens. But uh, things are going very well. We're excited to get into some games. What is it that you try and accomplish during this spring session? I think prepare for the fall a little bit, maybe try a new system, try players in new positions, but just get some different experience, play some different opponents, get some different challenges, see some different things. Um, just keep the kids sharp, but give them some different challenges. You mentioned playing some different opponents. Uh, you always play an ambitious spring schedule. This year, you may have outdone yourself. You start against <laughs> the Seattle Sounders women. Uh, talk about that game. Well, it's going to be a challenge, but fun, and our kids are up for the challenge. We're going to see Megan Rapino and Sydney LaRue and Alex Morgan and Hope Solo, and I can actually go on and on and on. I think they just signed Stephanie Cox, the outside back, who, who played ball last night against Brazil. Um, but I think that's what we want. Our kids want to be challenged. Our kids want to play against, against tough opponents. They, we, and we want to see our kids be challenged from the standpoint of, of areas we need to work on. We want to see our kids exposed a little bit. Um, sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. But our kids look forward to the spring and that schedule. And and uh, there's not an easy game on our schedule, that's for sure. You talk about not an easy game. After that, Sounders, uh, you get no rest as you have four straight games against Division One opponents. Yeah. Uh, talk a little bit about the rest of your schedule. Yeah, looking forward to playing Portland. Beautiful field, great team, always a well-coached team. Um, play a little bit differently than teams that we play, which is great. Um, playing uh, Portland State, which is a very strong physical team that will, I think, give us a different look as well. Um, then we play University of Washington, which we always know is a great opponent, well-coached team, very talented team. I think we'll see a different system against them as well. And then finishing against Seattle U, which we haven't played for a while, which I think our kids are really looking forward to. I know a lot of our players know their players as well as UW. So just a chance to kind of have a little bit of a derby in town and play the local schools. One of the interesting dynamics of the spring session is your seniors who played with you in the fall are gone, mm -hmm. but you don't have the incoming freshmen yet. Right. So, um, what is this a good for your returning players? A good chance to get uh, some time and a lot of touches? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we have you know we kind of feel like we start again. Um, it's a chance for kids to step up and grab a hold of positions and 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 I, I think step up and say, hey, we want to have even more of an impact, have a different role. Um, sometimes, like I said, we put kids in different positions, but just a, a great chance for kids to grow overall um, and, and get ready for the fall. Um, you know, you're right. We we had great number seventeen. Have taken a couple injuries. We'll be fine. But it is a chance for kids to step up and, and just get more playing time and, and maybe have a different role if that's what they're looking for. What are the biggest voids you need to fill with the departure of some uh, top-notch seniors? Um, you know, I think just uh, I think we need to have a little bit more better balance in the back. Um, I certainly love the fact that we have some great kids attacking-wise coming back. Um, but uh, I think overall, I, I, I like what we have coming back. I think we're going to be great. You had some players injured in the fall, uh, particularly a couple of uh, freshmen up front. Uh, will some of those be back for the spring yeah, session? Yeah, great question. Allie Martin and Heather Young look great. Heather, a little bit ahead of schedule from Allie, um, has been going for a while now. has been doing great in practice. Allie is getting closer to being 100%, um, certainly full out now in practice. And both those kids are so great in the fall. It was a huge loss. But we've already seen in practice just how much we miss them at times. And both are, are very active in practice, scoring goals and looking like they're getting back to being uh, themselves, which is awesome news for us. Is there another player or players that uh, you notice maybe standing out that uh, will play a more significant role this upcoming season? Boy, there's a lot. You know, Demi Waitley at offensive center mid has been great all winter and spring. She's been great with the ball. Certainly gives us an attacking mentality from that spot. I've really enjoyed how she's come out and, and just really had a huge impact on our practices. Can't wait to get her in games. Um, Alexa Diaz has been hurt a bit, but I think we expect her to kind of um, step up a bit in the back and have a significant role. She was a little bit hurt in the, in the, uh, in the fall. Man, there's just a hand full. Um, Annie Thomas, who was hurt a little bit, uh, just some players stepping up, I think, that we've been waiting for and now have that choice and have that chance, excuse me, and have already taken advantage of it. Great. Thanks very much, Coach. Oh, okay.